This is Justin Case of American Newscape, welcoming back Sarah Wisdom with a new episode of Yuma County Library Happenings. Hello, Sarah. You are the librarian poet in our hearts. What's happening at the libraries? Well, thank you. I, I wish I'd come up with a rhyme now. <laughs> but I'll just, I'll have to speak lyrically, I guess. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the things that people can do now that our libraries are open with limited services. We do want to remind people to visit our website, yumalibrary.org, and there's a big banner right on the front that says um, limited services. If you click on that, it'll give you an entire page of what's going on, um, the locations and the hours, um, that might trip people up a little bit because the hours are limited as well. So before you get in the car and make the trip, please check the site or check the app and, and double check those hours. Um, but we wanted to let people know that you can now sign up for a library card, a physical library card. So if you happen to just have an e-card while we were closed, you can come in and get your physical card now, and that way you'll be able to take advantage of the curbside pickup service. So you'll be able to borrow not only digital titles, but uh, physical materials as well. Our books, uh, magazines, DVDs, CDs, you can put all those on hold either over the phone or uh, online on our catalog. And uh, when they're available, you'll be notified and you can pick them up either in person or through the curbside pickup program. And that is something that uh, we've had a couple of questions on uh, when people have come to visit us this during this first week that we're open. Um, people thought they could come in and, and select items off the shelf, kind of kind of like old school library visit. And unfortunately, we're, we're not offering what we're calling browsing at this time. Um, you, you have to reserve your materials ahead of time. So either online or give us a call. We'd be happy to do it for you. Um, but when you're coming to the library, that's um, to pick up your materials that have already been uh, reserved for you. So we just wanted to clarify that. Um, another thing that you are able to do now is um, take advantage of, well, we already talked about the curbside pickup, so let me talk more about the digital services as well. Um, if you have that physical card, that is also good for the digital services. So you also have access to all of our streaming movies and music, our uh, eBooks, e-audio books. This month for the book club, they are uh, discussing a book called The Graveyard Book with Neil Gaiman, which is not only an e-book, an audio book, but also a graphic novel, which is available in print and through our streaming services. Um, so that card uh, just really gets you more bang for your buck. You can take advantage of digital collections and physical collections as well. And if you have any questions, um, you know, it's phase one of opening. It's, it's new for all of us. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we're available by phone, by email. Um, just, just hit us up, ask us your question, and we will help you as best we can. Well, and let's remind everybody that Graveyard Book is a, is a love story. It, well, it has love in it. I guess I don't, I guess I wouldn't call it like a romantic love story, but it's uh, like a family love like, story. Like love, love of the family. Uh, yeah. And the other, yeah, the other thing I'll share with Sarah is uh, we've gotten some response with regard to the limited opening and people that we're getting a little bit of, you know, we're anxious to get in the library and touch and feel the books and, and resume that experience. But what, once told that, you know, this is step one, you know, we're working towards that and, uh, you know, and I share with them that the library is doing the best that they can to provide that. They seem to be very understanding. So it seems like the passionate lovers of the library will remain passionate lovers of the library through thick and thin. Yes, we've had a lot of positive response, and we have had the same experience. Uh, people who, who thought they could come in and, and browse the, the new books once we explain, well, this is what we're doing. Um, I have to say people have been very understanding and very kind and very patient, and we appreciate that a lot because it's all new to us, too. It's, it's a new world out there. So yeah. as you said, we're doing our best to provide those services and uh, provide access to the collection. Okay. Hey, this has been Justin and Sarah sharing a glimpse into Yuma County Library happenings. Additional info is in this video's Read More. Thanks for joining us. Remember to support your local library, librarians, and their staffs. And please consider subscribing to this channel.
Thank you.